using matrices to represent data. We can also use a matrix to display data. A matrix is array arranged in a number of rows and a number of columns. The size or the dimension of a matrix is the number of rows by the number of columns. And what you need to remember here is that rows go across and columns go down. All right, so we would write it as rows by columns. Each value of a matrix is called an element of the matrix. So if you, I'm asking you to identify a certain element, then you're just going to give me one number in the matrix. So we're going to do an example taking a word problem and writing it as a matrix so then we can manipulate the matrix however we need to. In the first grade class, there are 13 students who prefer strawberry ice cream, 4 who like chocolate, 8 who like butterscotch. In the second grade class, there's a slightly different taste, 7 like strawberry, 12 like chocolate, and 9 like butterscotch. So we want to write and identify um, the size of the matrix. So first we need to write the matrix. So if we go grade by uh, ice cream, by the favorite type of ice cream, that means that our columns, sorry, our rows are going to be our grades. So that's going to be equal to the grade. So we're going to do first grade and second grade right here. And then we're going to do the ice cream, strawberry, uh, chocolate, and butterscotch. And then we're just going to put our numbers in. We don't actually need our variables. All we're going to deal with are the numbers. So it looks like 13, like strawberry, 4, like chocolate, and 8, like butterscotch. And then in the second grade, it was 7 like strawberry, 12 like chocolate, and 9 like butterscotch. So now we identify the size. The size would be number of rows, 1, 2, because there were two grades, by the number of columns, which is the ice cream, so 2 by 3. So that would be your answer. In this next example, we're going to come up with a matrix and identify the size. A washing machine company collects data on sales of washing machines in three cities from 2002 to 2005. The results showed that in city A, 70 uh, machines were sold the first year, and then 74, 85, and 90. Uh, in City B, 54, 65, 72, and 83 washing machines were sold. And finally, City C, 105, 99, 85, and 76 machines were sold. So the first thing, we need to decide what our rows are and what our columns are. So let's just go the city by the number of machines. And if we do that, then that means the rows are going to be the cities, so that would be city A, city B, and city C, and then the other one, the columns are going to be the number of machines sold in each year, so this would be in 2002, 2003, uh, 2004, and 2005. Okay, so now we just need to fill in what we know, so the first year for city A was 70, then 74, then 85, and 90. City B, it was 54, then 65, then 72, and 83. And finally, uh, City C was 105, 99, 85, and 76. So then we identify the size of the matrix. So the size is going to be the number of rows, which is 3, by the number of columns, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 by 4 matrix. Those are your notes over using matrices to represent data. Go through the practice problems. Make sure that you can organize a matrix 
given a word problem, and then you can prepare for your quiz 